In today's video, I'm going to show you the best coaching adjustments for defense, including the best zone drops this year, at least in my opinion, for the majority of the way people are going to play Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is focused on how to help you improve and get better and get more wins and get better at the game. So if that's something that you're interested in, what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want to encourage you to go into my description, click join the Discord. That Discord is the best possible place for you to get better at Madden because it's going to surround you with a community of people who are also trying to do the same thing get better at Madden. And so, again, there's a saying that goes, you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. And so, for me, I want to encourage you right now to jump in that community. It really is uh, a great place to learn and to lab. All right, guys. So, zone coaching adjustments, zone drops. So, you know, part of this does under understand that part of this does go with your scheme and your specific situation. But these are the best coaching adjustments and the best zone drops, at least in my opinion, stock this year. Like if you're just picking up the game and you're wanting to play your friend and you're wanting your zone coverage to improve, this is what I would recommend. First and foremost, on your auto alignment, you want to um, base align your defense. This is going to help with your pressure. It's going to help make everything look the same, which is one of the best ways to improve your defense in Madden 21. Ball in air defense, you want to put this on play ball. As you see here, if they are an AI player, they're going to play it based on their air uh, trait. We want them to play the ball every single time because it's going to help us get more interceptions. You're not going to get those random swats from the computer. You're going to click on to your player, and you're going to swat when you need to swat, but you're going to pick when you need to pick. So I like to go play ball here. Cornerback matchups, um, I just leave these on balanced. Uh, again, if you're running a man-specific scheme, you want to put this on speed. Um, so if you're running a man-specific scheme, like if you're going to play a lot of man-to-man, -man, then you want auto alignment on man, and you want to put by speed. But because I'm running a zone-based scheme uh, right now in Madden, I'm going to go uh, on balanced so that it doesn't move my corners. Option defense, you always want this on conservative. Always, always, always want this on conservative. Um, unless they're running a very specific shovel option type of scheme, which you're very unlikely to face. But if they are doing that, then you might need to change those adjustments. Strip ball. Um, what I like about if you put it on uh, aggressive, you're going to get a face mask penalty. So you don't want to do that, but you want to just go ahead and leave it on balanced. Okay. Tackling. I like to put this on aggressive. Um, that is uh, that's my that's my favorite. Hit sticks. Um, you're gonna get a better chance of getting fumbles. Now this is where this is the secret sauce of the defense right here. Um, it says right here, during pre-play, pre return zone drops to default by using the reset play audible or the sticks coverage adjustment. So what this basically means is if, you, if you're in the middle of a no huddle situation and you want to set them back to their default, maybe they're hitting you with a, an underneath drag or whatever, um, maybe you set up for like third and 20 and they throw a dot and then you come and they go no huddle because they know you got your zone drops in 20 yards. If you just hit triangle L1, triangle play the sticks, you're going to be able to be just fine. It's going to reset the zones to their default, um, their default number. So, um, if you take a look here at the zone drops, my favorite zone drops this year, uh, at least starting out, is I like to take my uh, purple zones, and I like to put them at 20 yards or 10. It depends. So, if you're playing more of a cover two style of defense, you want these at five to 10 yards. If you're playing a cover four style of defense, you want these at 20 yards. Now, what I am going to go ahead and suggest to you, though, is you can always make a, uh, a flat zone. You can't always make a purple zone, okay? You can always make a flat zone, but you can't always make a purple zone. So what I like to do with these flats is I like to put them at 20 yards for zone drop. Curl flats, I will typically play them at 15 or 10, okay? 10 or 15, depending on – I really like 10. 10 to me seems really, really, really solid. And then for zone drops on my hook zones, I'm going to put these at 10 yards, maybe 15 if they're throwing a lot of post routes, but typically about 10 yards does the trick for me. So this right here is a very simple, uh, uh, simple guide to how to do this. Your curl flats are going to do a good job at that 10 yard depth of coming down on the crossing routes, but they're also going to do a good job at hanging back for like the curl routes and things like that that a lot of people are running. 
And like I said, the basics for this is cover four. So you just find your dime, whatever dime defense you run. One four six is really popular right now. I just released um, a blitz on one four six. If you haven't picked up that video, you can check it out on the channel. It's a three, two man uh, edge pressure from one four six. But mesh post. Let's just talk about that real quick. So if you watch these zone drops, all you're going to do is press your coverage. And then I like to just spy a guy. But what you'll see here is these zones are now going to drop, and it's going to be really, really difficult to throw that mesh post route. Again, mesh post is one of our favorite plays um, year in and year out. And what you'll see is because the post route typically gets over the yellow zones, what you'll see with these zone drops is they don't it doesn't quite get there now again i like i said if they're throwing a lot of post routes you can drop your hook curls to 15 yards one of the things that i like to do is i like to actually do what's called a swap exchange so i'm going to bring these cover four defenders down into hook curls and basically put, turn it into a cover three and then my job is going to be to user uh, lurk the middle uh, but what you'll see here is these hook curls at 10 yards are going to pick off the post route can't throw post routes cannot do it okay now what about um what about like crossers or drags well these curl flats are going to do a good job yes you can still throw the drag but we're going to come up and make a tackle on every drag route that you have um, any underneath routes you'll see here um, you can certainly throw this little hitch route uh, right there to fitzgerald uh, let me show you a better example of that because i was just uh, sitting on the defender but you'll see here cover four so again, this, this is the basic concept, but this little low ball hitch, you see he's, you see how he jumps inside of it? That's a zone drop at 10 yards. That's a hook curl at 10 yard depth. That's what's so powerful about this. Um, when, you, when you really understand um, how everything works. Now, if I go, um, let's say I put my, let's say I do the zone drop, at zone uh, swapping that I was talking about. What you'll see happen um, is low ball that hitch. And you have the low ball, right? You have the low ball, but the zone is going to take that. And what typically people will do is they won't throw the hitches. Um, that's what gets people in trouble. Um, now, if they throw flats, as you see here, they're going to get three yards. You know, they're going to get three yards on a, curl, on a cloud flat because those cloud flats are going to be um, at that depth right there. Now, what if they run like a corner route? So I'm going to bring spring Kirk over. So this is just a basic corner route to the left side. It's not anything special. What you'll see here, those 10-yard flats are going to be just fine, and you can click on pick things uh, left and right. Let me show you an out route to the left side as well. Out routes on the left side. As you see, I'm just pass leading it to the left, and it's not really there. The zone drop is doing the work for me. I don't have to do it. As you see there, zone drop sits right in that zone can't throw an out route so you're taking away a lot of what's popular and really what you're leaving them with is the simple crossing underneath crossing routes uh, and stuff like that which you know is fine as you see here curls don't even work against this that's what's so powerful about this play um, so again guys these are the best zone settings in my opinion uh, right now because if you low ball, you see you jump the route. So um, if you want to make your cover four really good, the key is your coverage adjustments, your coaching adjustments. So that is uh, a quick tip on how to do that. Again, guys, if you want to continue the conversation, I've got a couple other videos that are going to post here that are going to show you some pressure setups from Dime 146 and things like that. But make sure to join my Discord. If you have not already, make sure to join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And if you're a member of the Discord, what I want to encourage you to do is to start chatting in the chat guys uh, chat in the chat get dialogue going talk with people in discord get to meet people add people on playstation play them in a game the way you're going to get better is by playing better competition i've never gotten better from winning a game of madden where i get better is when i lose a game of madden and losing a game of madden means i'm going to have to admit that i'm not the best player let me just let you, let me let, let me let you in on a little secret I'm not the best Madden player in the world. Um, there's, you know, not very many people are, right? There gets to be one person like that. But I'm a pretty good Madden player. And by me being humble enough to accept the coaching, accept the losses of the players that I'm playing with, labbing with, it's going to allow me to become even better. So, uh, again, that's just my encouragement to you. If you really want to take your game to the next level, if you're really serious about it, you need to get in a community, you need to get into a Discord, and you need to start playing people that are better and you need to watch videos, continue to watch mine. I upload four times a day. Watch other people, too. Um, I'm, we have a section 
in our Discord that is devoted to showing you other people's content so that you can always have the best material in the game. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. And we will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Remember, I stream every night at 10. Check out these videos on the screen, though, if you want to get a little bit better at bad. And I got a couple other tips coming out tonight. So, see ya.